Alcohol consumption are physiological and neurological responses. Alcohol is a commonly consumed depressant drug, meaning that its overconsumption reduces arousal, stimulation, and various other brain functions. Intoxication impairs our ability to make appropriate decisions and judgments in different situations. Chronic alcohol consumption continues to cause devastation, killing hundreds of thousands of individuals per year. To avoid any related alcohol effects, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention recommends a maximum of one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. To understand more about alcohol, let's take a look at how it travels to different areas of the body. Alcohol is derived from the chemical compound known as ethanol. After consuming ethanol, it travels down the digestive tract, through the stomach, and into the small intestine, where it then gets absorbed into the bloodstream. Once in the blood, ethanol is transported to several organs within the body. How does alcohol consumption affect the liver? The liver is responsible for metabolizing or breaking down alcohol. Within the liver, there are several proteins that aid in alcohol metabolism called enzymes. These enzymes help convert the alcohol into various compounds for safe and easy elimination from our body. There are many potential consequences of alcohol exposure in relation to the liver. First is that it increases the formation and movement of lipids within the body. Moreover, long-term consumption can reduce the breakdown of lipids and liver cells, resulting in fatty liver. A study by Orfandis determined that drinking more than 3 ounces of alcohol per day for men and 3 quarters to 1 ounce of alcohol per day for women for over a period of 10 years can result in severe liver inflammation and possibly cirrhosis. This long-term alcohol consumption has also proven to cause liver failure. How does alcohol consumption affect the kidneys? The kidneys are responsible for many functions including regulating the acidity of the blood, filtering the blood, and processing urine. Research shows that alcohol consumption can cause oxidative stress by producing excess amounts of reactive oxygen species which leads to the inflammation of the kidneys. A study conducted by White and colleagues discovered that the consumption of 30 grams or just greater than 1 ounce of alcohol per week for a total of 5 years or more can lead to albuminuria which is a typical sign of kidney disease. Ultimately, research has concluded that alcohol consumption can severely damage the kidneys. Now, let's take a look at the neurological impacts of alcohol consumption. To do so, we need to investigate how alcohol affects the brain. Here we can explain how alcohol intoxication impairs our ability to make decisions and act appropriately. Eventually, ethanol gets to the brain where it interacts with different chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. So which neurotransmitters are affected by alcohol? Alcohol interferes with glutamate, serotonin, GABA, and dopamine. Ethanol molecules specifically interfere with their ability to bind to receptors within different regions of the brain. This leads to lower rates of communication between brain cells, ultimately causing signs of drunkenness. Studies have found that alcohol intoxication disrupts communication within the prefrontal cortex, interfering with decision-making and judgments. Intoxication interferes with movement based on disruptions within the motor cortex. In the somatosensory cortex, sensory information and input gets hindered. Our memory gets distorted based on disruptions within the hippocampus. Finally, our coordination and balance are impacted by disruptions in the cerebellum. Research conducted by Beck and colleagues demonstrated significant effects of alcohol consumption with respect to the brain. First, alcohol can disrupt the growth and connectivity of new and old brain cells. Alcohol was also found to destroy brain cells by restricting their access to energy. Furthermore, chronic drinking over a period of 10 years can lead to brain shrinkage and fiber deficiency. Sullivan and Pfefferbaum displayed that excessive alcohol consumption leading to intoxication over one's lifetime can lead to Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. This occurs as alcohol decreases thiamine levels within the body. This reduction leads to Wernicke's encephalopathy, which results in confusion and challenges associated with coordinating muscle movements. Up to 90% of these cases then lead to Korsakoff psychosis, which is characterized by severe cognitive problems including poor memory retention and learning deficits. 
So why do so many around the world continue to drink alcohol in excessive amounts? Well, many people are able to drink responsibly, whether enjoying a celebratory event or being at a party with friends. But there is a clear distinction between enjoying alcohol responsibly and overconsuming it. So how can we account and explain for alcohol addiction? Neurologically speaking, the consumption of alcohol causes a release of dopamine. Dopamine is an excitatory neurotransmitter that causes feelings of happiness and pleasure. In fact, this neurotransmitter is so strong that it is associated with the formation of drug addictions. What are some healthier alternatives that stimulate dopamine release? Studies show multiple ways that dopamine can be released, including listening to our favorite music, exercising or going out for a joyful run, spending quality time with family and friends, and eating the most delicious meals. In fact, one way that we can combat the negative consequences of alcohol intoxication is by drinking on a full stomach after a big meal. This helps to slow the rate of ethanol absorption from the intestines into the blood and can help in preventing intoxication. Thank you for watching our video. We truly hope that you enjoyed it. For more information, visit the Demystifying Medicine YouTube channel.